Okay, wrong turn two. I wasn't really a fan of the first one, because the first one was kind of just... Like, barely over an hour long of just people being hunted down by cannibal mutant hillbillies. This one, you're looking about an hour and a half, of people filming, like, a survival reality show in the woods. Ironically, the woods happen to be full of mutated cannibal hillbillies. <clears throat> And from the opening kill, where essentially cut a woman in half with an axe, you kind of know you're in for a kind of campy schlock fest. What makes this watchable? Henry Rollins. Henry Rollins is kind of like, you know, like, like an ex-military guy who essentially is trying to help run this reality show. <clears throat> so, a quick word of advice. If you're going to run a reality show, try to make sure that the forest you're going to use isn't infected by cannibal mutant hillbillies. So this is kind of like the hills have eyes, but they're in the woods. And the mutant hillbillies don't have as many different unique looks. <clears throat> and there's primarily just a lot of schlock. You know. Not not like dead alive schlock, but you know. They've got you can tell they use part of like an old lumber mill. Because they got what you use to sense you know processed wood. They use it to chop up bodies every now and then. They do some bizarre CGI kills. People do get blown up with dynamite. There is arrows covered with dynamite. <clears throat> you will see what looks like a metal bolo that's got barbed wire wrapped in it. These are pretty interesting things. Primarily, the acting is generic. And you kind of have your standards. You have like your, oh, this is all just a game. You have the... Oh, I'm kind of the cute girl, but oh, guess what? I'm a cutter. You have the kind of hard-nosed lesbian. You have a jock. You know, and all the characters are fairly cookie-cutter. You never really get to learn enough about them until they're killed. But that being said, this is... This is watchable. You know, it's not... It isn't anything fantastic. It isn't anything, you know, really amazing or groundbreaking. But when it comes to the idea of, you know mutant cannibal hillbillies, or rednecks for that matter, it's actually fairly decent and pretty solid. And that is wrong turn to dead end.